Hello everyone, I am Divya Jyoti Das. This is Elevate Classes and today I am going to discuss the topic of black body radiation for all those students who are preparing for exams like Physics IIT Jam, TIFR, JEST, CUET, etc. So if you are preparing for these exams, then black body radiation ka jo topic hai, usse kuch sawal aate hai. So let us discuss those concepts in a very brief manner and do some previous years papers. Taki agar aapko is topic mein koi bhi doubt ho, to wo sara clear ho jai and you should be able to perform those questions if and when you appear in those examinations. So let's start with the concept of black body radiation. Ki black body radiation hota kya hai? So first of all, if we have any kind of a surface, let's suppose, sabse pehle aap yahan dekhiye, if we have any kind of a surface that has a nature of a pigment such that it absorbs all the radiation falling on it. So if there is any kind of an incident radiation falling on a surface, then all radiation is being absorbed by the surface so that none of it is reflected. In such a situation, if that same surface emits radiation. So the radiation coming off the surface is not necessarily because of reflection, but it is coming out because of that surface itself, because of the thermal properties of the surface, then those radiation which comes out of the surface as a result of all the thermal excitations that is happening uh, within the molecules and atoms in that surface itself, that is known as black body radiation. So black body radiation is essentially the result of the temperature of a surface. So, koi bhi object hota hai, to uska kuch na kuch temperature to zarur hota hai, it's greater than zero Kelvin. And because uska temperature hota hai, iska matlab ye hai, jo atoms and molecules and the particles that make up the surface, they have some kind of a thermal excitations and vibrations happening, they have some kind of an energy. And that energy is emitted to the surroundings via radiation and this radiation, purely this radiation is the black body radiation, all right. Now, this type of surface ko kaise construct kar sakte hai? Usually it is done, if you look at this nature of an object, a cavity. Most of the time, when you have a cavity with a small hole, then what happens is that if any radiation falls within that hole, they eventually get trapped within the surface. So that means all radiation falling through the hole is eventually absorbed by the surface. But there is radiation that is emitted by the inner walls also. So, I have shown a candle here. It simply means that this object has some kind of a temperature. All right. Now, if this object is in thermal equilibrium with its surroundings and it emits radiation inside the cavity, then eventually some of this radiation is going to come out. Now, this radiation that comes out of the cavity is purely because of the result of the thermal radiation that is being emitted by the walls of the cavity itself. And this radiation is known as black body radiation. Now, if you study this radiation, this radiation has been studied over many, many years by various scientists, then you see certain peculiar and interesting features. Usi se related hain do cheeze baat karte hain. Sabse pehle, if you study the total amount of energy that is being emitted by this uh, black body surface, so I'm going to call this as spectral energy density. So spectral energy density is a total amount of energy that is emitted by a black body surface per unit area, per unit time for a given frequency range, then you usually see this nature of a graph. You see that for low frequencies, the spectral energy density is low, but with increasing frequency, the spectral energy density increases, it reaches a peak, and with further increase in frequency, it decreases and goes to zero at frequ as frequency goes to infinity. This means that across all frequency ranges, some sort of a radiation is being emitted. Majority of the spectral energy density is concentrated somewhere in the middle. Now, what is the total amount of energy that is emitted by the black body radiation is given by what is known as the Stephen Boltzmann law. Stephen Boltzmann law ye kehti hai that the total amount of energy that is being emitted by the black body per unit time is power, which is essentially nothing but the total amount of area under this curve is directly proportional to the fourth power of the temperature of that black body surface. So if you have the power, which is the total spectral energy emitted by the black body surface, per unit time, per unit surface area, that is the power emitted by the surface is directly proportional to the temperature the black body surface has to its fourth power. And this complete equation essentially becomes P is equal to some constant, let's suppose sigma t to the power 4. Experimentally, it has been determined that the value of sigma here is 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 watt per meter k to the power Kelvin to the power 4. So essentially it gives us a relationship between the total amount of energy emitted per unit time 
as a result of the temperature of the black body. So one thing is clear that as we increase the temperature of the black body or the black body surface, the total amount of energy emitted per unit time also increases, which is clearer from this graph also. All right. So as you see, there are three different graphs here. So you have this particular graph, this particular graph and this particular graph. They are all graphs for the same surface but at different temperatures. Here temperatures are They are all the graphs for the same black body but for different temperatures. So what happens to the nature of this black body radiation spectrum as we increase the temperature? Well, more or less the shape remains the same but the size increases, so the area under the curve increases. So if I say that at a given temperature T1, this was the spectral energy density for a given black body surface, at another given temperature T2, it will change to this, and at another given temperature T3, it will change to this. Now this is related to another important observation, which is known as the Wayne's displacement law. Wayne's displacement law, kya kehti hai? It gives us a very interesting physical observation, which is, if you look at the nature of this black body radiation spectrum, the spectral energy density increases with frequency initially, but it decreases with further increase in frequency. That means there is a peak for the spectral energy density corresponding to a certain frequency, right? So if I say that the peak happens at a certain frequency that I call as nu max, 1 okay so nu max 1 is a frequency corresponding to the peak of the spectral energy density for the black body surface at temperature t1 and nu max 2 let's suppose is the peak for the black body spectrum for the object at temperature t2 and similarly uh, nu max 3 is the frequency corresponding to the peak of the black body spectrum at temperature T3. So then it is observed that the increase in this nu max is directly proportional to the temperature. So that is the Wayne's displacement law. It simply says that the frequency corresponding to the peak of the energy density is directly proportional to the temperature. So the nature of the black body radiation spectrum graph is going to change in such a manner that with increasing temperature, the frequency corresponding to the peak of the spectral energy density also increases in a linear fashion in a direct proportionality. So usually the Wayne's displacement law is either stated in this manner or in terms of wavelength. Wavelength ke terms bhi hum bol sakte. Wavelength kya hota hai? Wavelength is nothing but C upon lambda. So if I say instead of frequency, I want to correlate with wavelength, then I'm going to say, okay, lambda max is, a, is the wavelength corresponding to which the spectral energy density is maximum. Then, then this gives us an inverse proportionality. So if frequency is directly proportional to temperature, then lambda max will be inversely proportional to temperature. This gives us a formula lambda max into T is equal to a proportionality constant, which is known as B and the value of B is 2.898 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter Kelvin. So you have two distinct observational results. One is the Stephen Boltzmann law which says that the power emitted by a black body is proportional to the fourth power of its temperature and the Wayne's displacement law which says that the wavelength corresponding to the peak spectral energy density is inversely proportional to the temperature of the surface. Usually, if you are just TIFR, IIT jam, CUAT, in exams, ke liye prepare kar rahe hai, then more or less, vast majority of the questions come from these two topics only. So, this is related to the questions. Karte hai. Let's do a couple of uh, previous year's questions based on these two concepts. Let's begin. So, now here I have a question from Physics IIT jam. 2007 that is based on uh, this concept that I just now mentioned. The black body spectrum of an object O1 is such that its radiant intensity that is the intensity per unit wavelength interval is maximum at a wavelength of 200 nanometer. Another object O2 has a maximum radiant intensity at 600 nanometer. The ratio of power emitted 
per unit area by O1 to that of O2 is how much. Now what you can do is you can pause this video right here and try to solve this question yourself based on what we just now discussed. And once you are done, just to cross check, you can come back to this video and see what answer I have also obtained. So let me start. So here pe jo hai, we need to use both the Stephen Boltzmann law as well as the Wayne's displacement law because initially it is given to us that for an object O1, so for a black body O1, I have a certain information. For another black body O2, I have another set of information, right? O1 ke liye kya hai? It says that the black body spectrum of an object O1 is such that its radiant intensity is maximum at a wavelength of 200 nanometer. So lambda max is essentially equal to 200 nanometer. So iska jo temperature hai kitna hai? Hame nahi malum. It's not given in the question. Okay. Now another object O2 has a maximum radiant intensity at 600 nanometer. So isko hum bolte hai, lambda max is equal to 600 nanometer. Now isko lambda max nahi bolte hai, isko lambda max dash bol dete hai. All right. Now what is the temperature T dash associated with this? We have no idea, but we know the Wayne's displacement law, right? So using the Wayne's displacement law, I can clearly state that because for any given black body radiation spectrum that lambda max which is the wavelength corresponding to the peak energy density multiplied by the temperature is equal to a constant. So, we straight forward ek hi cheez likh sakte hai, that lambda max for O1 T for O1 is equal to lambda max dash for O2 T dash. That's it. So, this will give us a sort of a comparison between T and T dash. So, which is equal to lambda max dash upon lambda max. So, which is equal to how much? So, lambda max dash is equal to 600 nanometer upon 200 nanometer. So, this is equal to 3 is to 1 ratio. Now, we have an idea about the ratio of the temperature, but the question is asking us, what is the ratio of power emitted per unit area by O1 to that of O2. The power ke liye hum kya karenge? Power ke liye we will go back to the Stephen Boltzmann law which says that the power is directly proportional to the fourth power of temperature, right? So now we will use the Stephen Boltzmann law. And from here, because Stephen Boltzmann law simply says that this P is equal to T to the power 4, again I can come up with a sort of a ratio between P and P dash. So let's suppose power corresponding to this O1 is P, I don't know what that is, power corresponding to O dash or O2 is P dash, I don't know what that is. So P upon P dash is essentially equal to T upon T dash to the power 4. Now I already know what T upon T dash is, that is 3 is to 1. So 3 is to 1 to the power 4 is essentially equal to 9 into 9, which is 81 to the power 1. So this should be our answer which is option number D 81. So the ratio of the power emitted by the area O1 to that of O2 is 81. So this is your answer, answer number D. So you see to solve this problem we needed the understanding of both the Stephen Boltzmann law as well as the Wayne's displacement law. By combining them you can solve this question in probably two to three minutes. All right. So let us move ahead to the next question. The next question is will be similar. Hai. In fact, it is easier than the previous question. It has come in Physics IIT Jam 2013. A black body at a temperature T emits radiation at a peak wavelength of lambda. If the temperature of the black body becomes 4 times T, the new peak wavelength is how much? You can pause the video, do it yourself and come back to the video and cross check. This is a very, very easy question. In fact, rough me karenge to ek minute me ho jayega. You can save a lot of time in the other questions if you do it fast because it's a very, very easy question. All right. So let's start. All right. Wayne's displacement law use hoga yaha pe. Jaisa ki mene bataya, lambda max for an object and its temperature in ka product is equal to for another black body object, lambda max dash multiplied by T dash. So yaha pe kya bola gaya hai? Yaha pe bas ye bola gaya hai ki T dash is equal to 4 times T. So now, we have asked lambda max jo dash hai, wo kitna hoga. Agar lambda max is equal to lambda. Agar lambda max is equal to lambda. 
ठीक है सो लेट्स जस्ट प्लग दीज वैल्यूज इन सो दिस इज लैमडा दिस इज टी सो दिस इज लैमडा मैक्स डैश या फिर हम उसको लैमडा डैश ही लिख सकते हैं ठीक है मैक्स लिखने की जरूरत नहीं आई वी नो वट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सो लैमडा डैश इज इक्वल टू यहाँ पे फोर टी आ जाएगा दैट्स इट और क्या करना पड़ा हमें कुछ भी नहीं दैट्स इट सो लैमडा डैश इज इक्वल टू लैमडा टी अपॉन फोर टी सो दिस इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन फोर लैमडा दिस इज योर आंसर ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज द आंसर सिंपल स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड एक्सट्रीमली ईजी इसको मिस करने की जरूरत बिल्कुल नहीं है तो अगर आप मॉडर्न फिजिक्स पढ़ रहे हैं तो जस्ट स्पेंड हाफ एन आवर ऑफ योर टाइम टू स्टडी सम ऑफ दीज बेसिक टॉपिक्स ऑफ ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन वैसे तो ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन इज क्वाइट ए लेंदी टॉपिक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो इन इट्स थियोरिटिकल डिस्कशंस बट इफ यू आर जस्ट प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन आपके पास ज़्यादा टाइम नहीं है तो सिर्फ स्टीफन बोसमैन लॉ और अगर वेन्स डिस्प्लेसमेंट लॉ को एक बार रिवाइज कर देंगे तो हो सकता है कि देर इज अ हाई लाइकलीहुड दैट यू विल गेट अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दीज टॉपिक्स एंड यू विल बी एबल टू स्कोर गुड मार्क्स लेट्स मूव अड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन जो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है वो भी इनफैक्ट वेन्स डिस्प्लेसमेंट लॉ से ही रिलेटेड है बट दैट इज अ क्वेश्चन दैट इज कम इन जेस्ट टू थाउजेंड सो इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर जेस्ट ऑट या एफ आर और सी यू ई टी देन अगेन यू सी दीज क्वेश्चन आर रिकरिंग ओवर एंड ओवर अगेन बहुत ही आसान सवाल है लेट मी रीड इट द ब्लैक बॉडी एट अ टेम्परेचर ऑफ सिक्स हंड्रेड कैलविन एम इट्स अ रेडिएशन हुज इंटेंसिटी स्पेक्ट्रम पीक्स एट सिक्स हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर्स इफ द टेम्परेचर इज रिड्यूस्ड टू थ्री हंड्रेड कैलविन द स्पेक्ट्रम विल पीक एट वट पॉज द वीडियो ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इन टू मिनट्स ओके इवन इफ पॉसिबल इन जस्ट वन मिनट एंड देन कम बैक टू दिस वीडियो एंड क्रॉस चेक कि आपका आंसर सही है कि गलत है लेट मी स्टार्ट ब्लैक बॉडी है उसका टेम्परेचर आपको दिया है दैट 600 हंड्रेड कैलविन है एंड देन फॉर दैट ब्लैक बॉडी द रेडिएशन इंटेंसिटी स्पेक्ट्रम पीक्स दैट मीन्स लैमडा मैक्स पीक्स एट सिक्स हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर्स देर इज अनदर ब्लैक बॉडी हुई टेम्परेचर सो फॉर द सेम ब्लैक बॉडी द टेम्परेचर इज रिड्यूस्ड टू थ्री हंड्रेड कैलविन तो अब जो है इसका लैमडा मैक्स डैश क्या होगा अगेन यूजिंग वेन्स डिसप्लेसमेंट लॉक हम ये कह सकते हैं दैट लैमडा मैक्स टी इज इक्वल टू लैमडा मैक्स डैश टी डैश सो फाइनली दिस सिंपली बिकम्स सो लैमडा मैक्स इज 600 नैनोमीटर्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टी 600 कैलविन डिवाइडेड बाय टी डैश व्हिच इज 300 कैलविन सो दिस गेट्स कैंसल्ड थ्री से ये टू आ जाएगा यहाँ पे सो एसेंशियली दिस इज नथिंग बट ट्वेल्व नैनोमीटर्स तो यहाँ पे हमें ऑप्शन दिया है इन अदर यूनिट्स सो ट्वेल्व नैनोमीटर्स इज सिंपली इक्वल टू 1.2 micrometers. So this is your answer. This is the answer. Again, a very simple, straightforward, and not so much time-consuming question that has come in just. Joseph Wayne's displacement law. आपको मालूम है, तो आप इसको solve कर सकते हैं. So as you can see, many of these questions can be easily solved if you just know Wayne's displacement law and Stephen Boltzmann law. Which are just experimental observations that arise from the black body radiation spectrum. So, if you are preparing for modern physics, quantum mechanics, for various exams like IED JAM, CUET, TIF, or JEST, so this is a very important topic. Agle video me, I am going to talk about photoelectric effect, and I am also going to do a couple of questions that have come from photoelectric effect in papers like physics IED JAM, JEST, TIF, or etc. तो तब के लिए दिस इज दिजोतिदास आई एम साइनिंग आउट आई सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू वेरी मच